Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day, students. This is your Made for Learners Framework 2.0 courseware for week 2. You are under SSP031, Creative Thinking Tools, Trends, and Techniques. So, I am your instructor, Engineer Sheridan M. Kabandit. So, for week 2 from June 29 to July 5, 2020, we have four topics. So the first topic is design on Pew Matrix. So this video is for the design on Pew Matrix only. So to start, let's go to, uh, I'm sure you have read already the definition, users and purpose. Let's now, let's now go to how to do the steps in doing Pew Matrix. So basically the first step is we list down all the criteria in a vertical list. So, according to your exit ticket number 1, exit exit ticket report number 1, you are to create a Pew Matrix for the best delivery app. So, based on those delivery app, which criteria are the most important for you as a user? So, it be may it be um, response time or quality of service so on and so forth and i have specified there that you have to create at least five criteria after that we select the datum so the datum basically uh, creates or it becomes the baseline or the standard of your choices so for instance you choose grab or food panda for example so meaning to say you make these um you make this app as your standard and then after that, you list down all your alternatives horizontally. So your alternatives or your other options. So if you choose grab as your datum, then your alternative solutions will be, um, for example, Food Panda, what else, Lala Move, and um, what else? We also have Maxim, for instance, or even Shopee. So listing all those solutions we put them horizontally then we have to mark our pew matrix so in marking the pew matrix we have simple symbols like plus minus or s or s can even become zero so the plus means that solution or that alternative is actually better than your datum or your standard negative meaning to say it is lesser than your standard or datum and for S, meaning to say it's just the same with your datum or standard. And then after that, we aggregate the scores. After aggregating the scores, here's a sample Pew Matrix. So let's just say we write here already our five alternatives and five criteria. We have a baseline um, uh, app here as you place. And then after that, you are to write the weight so this empty column here will sh will be for your weight so for your weight how do you measure the weight so in this example for instance um criteria one it is import it is le um how do i say that it is more important or it is important but not that important but for criteria for it's the most important criteria for instance so that's why the weight is bigger so uh, as much as possible do not use one because it just means it's not important or it's important but not so so it will be difficult for you to get the measures so in this case you just have to choose so for instance criteria two it's better than criteria three but less than criteria 4. So, you can do the ranking in the weights, but it depends on you because two criterias may have the same weight because as you, you as users, perceive it as equal. Okay, so this could be two, so it depends. Okay, but the most effective is doing weights. So, or sorry, doing ranks. So, after that, you have already, um, uh, provided value so you may not put one just plus or minus is enough so for example let's say for criteria one with alternative a that's one meaning it's better than the baseline grab so let's just say this is food panda but in terms of criteria four it is less than from the standard app 
but as you notice the weight is bigger so it will really affect your total weighted score so after making all those putting all the values there you will now do the weighting so for the weighting so that's plus right so plus plus meaning to say you have to add two and three so adding two and three that's why your weight is all the positives here are five so it is best explained in this example chart so for instance in terms of the shower steps so for the shower steps you add all the pluses so 2 plus 2 plus 1 that's 5 therefore your plus is 5 that's why it's here and then for the minus although this this example uses actually double negative and triple negative but you can consider that as as one only so it depends on how much you want to create the difference among the alternatives so in this case since it's two negative so this is already four plus two six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven times two times three so eleven plus six that's 18 and there's only one zero so that's how you did with this one and to compute for the total weights that is five plus of course zero times one is zero and then negative 18 so that becomes five minus 18 that's why you have negative 13 here zero zero times 18 is just zero of course basically that's the datum so obviously it's zero and then this one four minus seven because the the values in the zeros are actually considered nullified because of uh it's just zero so four minus seven that's why it's negative three so after having all those values you choose the one which is the highest so in this case the highest is 15 with a positive value therefore we choose shower grips in our decision so don't forget to add a conclusion after doing the pew matrix so that's how simple pew matrix is so in this example they did double positives they did triple negatives so it depends if it's really far from one another but the simple plus minus and s can already lead you to having a decision using the pew matrix so as you can see in the weights also here uh, they chose one because maybe one is just of less importance in terms of maintenance and speed but the others are of the same importance like the aesthetics cost insulation safety and so on and so forth but the most effective one is ranking all the criteria but please remember that criteria may be may be of the same importance as the other that's why um, some users of Pew do not do ranking in their putting of criteria so that's it about Pew Matrix. Very simple. You can uh, with the PDF that I provide that I provided. It was just an example of doing step by step. So that's it, everyone. These are the sources that you can find for other uh, information about the Pew Matrix. And I'll see you on the next video for the quality function deployment. God bless.